Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to install Lunar V2. First thing you wanna do is get Python and specifically Python 3.10.5. If you have a different version, you will need to uninstall it. Scroll down, find the 64 bit, download it, and then you can open it. And this is very important. You have to click add Python 3.10 to path. And then just click install now. Do not click customize installation. Just install now. Okay. If you see a pop up here that says um, disable path link limit, make sure to click that. Otherwise, just click close. Now you have Python. Cool. So next thing we want to do, if you're on NVIDIA, if you're not on NVIDIA, you can skip this step. I'm going to go to my website, downloads, Tensor RT installer. So if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you'll want to download this. It'll take you to the GitHub, click the green code button, download zip, go ahead and extract that. I'm just going to use extract all, extract. Um, I already have it. Let me rename it. You, you won't need to rename it. I just already have this, so it's trying to replace the current one. Okay, okay, so open this folder. All right, this is where you need to decide. Do you have a 20 to 40 series graphics card? You'll run start. If you have a 50 series, so like a 50, 60, 50, 70, 50, 80, then you would run start 50 series. So I have a 30, 80, so I'm running start.bat. And then just let it do its thing. Uh, the CUDA toolkit is three gigs. So depending on your internet speed, this might take a little bit. Okay, so this is the CUDA toolkit installer. Just click okay. Okay, just click agree and continue. And then click custom here, next. Hit the plus sign on CUDA, and then you want to uncheck documentation and Visual Studio integration, and then you can click next. And next. Okay, next. Close. And it's still gonna do some things here. All right, so it says done. You can close this window. I'll probably update the TensorRT installer to do this for you, but as of now, you'll need to go to pytorch.org, get started, and then leave everything how it is, except for this. CUDA 12.6. This is if you have a 20 to 40 series graphics card. If you have a 50 series, you would click CUDA 12.8. I have a 3080, so I'm doing 12.6. And then you wanna highlight this command Control C or right click copy. And then you want to go to your Windows search bar, type CMD, command prompt. And then you can right click to paste and then press enter. And this is 2.6 gigs, so might take a bit. So once you see this line, then it's done can close this now okay so now we're ready to install lunar the website make sure you're logged in downloads you'll just install the latest version download and then depending on the game you will probably need you may need an aim device what is an aim device rb2040 rb2350 um, so this right here is a name device. Your mouse plugs into this side, and then this USB-C plugs into your PC. Both of them need to be data cables. You can check the supported mice, the known supported mice. If your mouse doesn't work with it, then uh, you can make a ticket in the Discord server, and I'll add support for it. We can go ahead and delete the TensorRT installer stuff and this EXE. We don't need that. And now we have our lunar folder and our sketch. So how do I upload this firmware? All you have to do is plug the aim device into your PC with a USB-C cable. 
you just hold boot while holding boot you click and release reset and then you let go of boot it's really really simple so boot reset boom okay so it opens up a folder this is where you'll drag and drop the firmware so drag and drop it will upload and then the folder will go away you're done with that now you can unplug your mouse from your pc and plug it into the aim device and since i have the rp2350 i have to click the reset button and then my mouse works so very simple and then it'll work from now on you don't have to upload the firmware ever again so we can delete that okay now we have lunar so i'm going to extract all and it's going to complain that i already have this so i'm going to rename it again you won't have to rename it but i do extract all cool <laughs> open the folders what you want to do is double click install requirements.bat run if it closes immediately i'll get into that after it's installed but okay this is for controller you do not need this okay i'm going to click cancel yes if you have a controller then yeah you'll need this but i don't so once it says if there's no red text you have no errors or and are good to go then you can close this if you have an nvidia graphics card then you can utilize tensor rt what is tensor rt tensor rt speeds up the ai model significantly you can see upwards of double your fps so i'm going to do that don't worry about this this is for amd so if you're on amd then you would double click this but i'm on nvidia so what you need to do is find the model right so lib model and then you would click in this empty space here it will highlight the path and you'll just type cmd right so that's all you want in there cmd press enter it will open a command prompt in the same directory as you can see we have lunar lib model lunar lib model right we're in the same path okay now what you want to do i'll put this command in the description but you want to do yolo export model equals best dot pt format equals engine image size equals 640 press enter don't worry about this warning here it's going to auto update as you can see okay so it's still not done yet um so if if you see the export success here and you're like oh it's done it's not done yet that's just an onyx file what it, what it does is it converts the pytorch model to onyx and then it converts the onyx to engine okay so now it's done it says export complete and you see a best.engine, right? So now it's done, and you see this line here. Okay, so you can delete this Onyx if you want. I would save the best.pt, um, just so that if you ever want to go back and export it with a different image size or play around with the export options, then you don't have to re-download Lunar. Okay, so now we're ready to start this thing. So start and like I said earlier, if you double click one of these batch files and it just closes immediately, you may have to right click run as administrator. If that still doesn't work, then what you'll have to do is go up in here, CMD enter, and then you'll do pi in this case, aim.py, right? If we're trying to run lunar aim.py and then you'd press enter. Um, if you're trying to install requirements, so you just do cmd inside the same folder as install requirements.bat and pip install. So this is the command pip install dash r lib slash requirements. So it's telling it to go inside the lib folder and find the requirements.txt. And then it's saying no cache, timeout zero, right? And then you'd press enter. 
that's only if you double click on these and they just close immediately right if they work normal you can ignore what i just said and yeah so i'm gonna run start run boom okay so now it is running just make sure you have if you have a name device you'll have to have the mouse method set to rp2040 slash rp2350 and then um you would save settings and restart lunar and then you can check your fps by scrolling down show screen capture there we go i have it capped to 120 by default but you can raise that if you want um so yeah and that's how you install lunar